One of the things that I had to do as a rep for digital design was butter up the dealers and the sales force. So every time I go visit a, a dealer, I'd take him out to dinner or buy him a pizza or, or something like that. But my biggest dealer at that at that time was uh, Washington Professional and Washington Music. And at that point, they were the single largest music store in the United States. I mean, they were a whole block, uh, city block. Uh, so I would go down there and spend three days because they had the Washington Music Store. Then they had Washington Professional, which was another building. And then they had um, uh, these other buildings that were uh, uh, like PA uh, sales and things like that. So, and they were all like, you would come out of one building, walk across the parking lot and the other building was there. So they had that whole block. So when I would go into, and I'd spend a day at each one of these buildings to, uh, you know, butter everybody up. So I'd also do seminars. I'd go down there, do a seminar and then butter people up. I mean, that's, that's part of my job. And that was my expense account. So when I went to the, it was kind of interesting. When I went to the music store, I would buy like five or 10 pizzas have them delivered and feed the whole sales uh, uh, department. So everybody got pizza uh, when I was there. And then when I was done with them, the next day I had to go to Washington Professional, which was more high end and they had big consoles there and tape machines and that. And um, those guys, I would take them all out to dinner. So a fancy restaurant, or if they wanted, I would order fancy food to have it all brought in for them. And, you know, they they uh, expected that from me. And then the, the third day I would go to another place and uh, I think it would buy pizzas or cheesesteaks or whatever there, there was down in Washington. So Wheaton, Maryland. But uh, I thought this is an interesting story because I don't know if people realize what the reps are supposed to do. I mean, they're supposed to just go out and get orders, but it, it's a, it, it's a psychological and a political thing. So the nicer you are, and uh, the more that you give back to them, the more. So I mean, you you spend I don't know 100 bucks on pizzas or 200 dollars on pizzas, but you walk out with a 50 thousand uh, dollar stocking order. It's it's worth the investment. And uh, Digit Design never had never questioned one single charge on my credit card for me to get the uh, get these things happening. But that was my, and it was every month I did that. I would go down to Washington, and if you haven't been there, it's it's a really great store. Watch the music. Um, and I was, uh, Chuck Levin was the owner and his sons uh, ran the place. Uh, but Chuck Levin passed away. But I, I had met him uh, when he was still alive. And then one of his sons passed away. And I think his, his son, Robert Levin, which is one son, uh, his son is now uh, running, running the place down there. But a very, very interesting uh, facility.